everyone, it's Hermione and today I'm going to help you clean your room. I did a video like this before about cleaning your room in a hurry in under 30 minutes in case you had friends coming over or you had to get it clean for some reason. But today's video is going to be much more helpful because it's a deep clean. A few of these methods might be similar to the ones I used in that video which I will link down below if you haven't seen it but this is going to be a proper clean so you can get the most out of your space. And I want this video to be really helpful to you so some of these things are going to be ways to keep your room clean after you have cleaned it so it stays organized for longer and then it won't end up like this. This bit looks tidy but that is not so. This can take any length of time depending on how dirty your room is and how cluttered it is. There might be a lot to do, there might be a little to do but hopefully some of these tips will help you. If you like this kind of video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Let me know if you like this kind of stuff in the comments down below and I will make more. I'm not going to get super into deep organisational methods today, just a bit of an overview of cleaning and some organising. So let's get started. So this is my room currently and it's disgustingly messy and this happens every time I film videos all day because my stuff goes everywhere and I don't have time to put it back. But I know a lot of you guys can relate to the messy room life so let's go and tidy it. So first of all you're going to need to prepare and what I like to do is put my comfiest clothes on so I'm wearing a baggy t-shirt and some yoga pants that I would normally wear to the gym. You can wear pyjamas, whatever makes you feel comfiest. You can tie your hair up as well so it doesn't get in the way and then after this I like to put on a playlist of music which I don't do if I'm in a hurry but if I have a lot of time that is what I like to do. So the first thing I recommend that you do is make your bed. And if you're doing a deep clean, now is the time to strip the sheets, wash them, or put some clean ones on. And if I hadn't done this yesterday, I would be doing that today. I didn't think this through. But for the sake of this video, pretend that I'm changing my sheets. <laughs> I recommend doing this at least once a week anyway, because sheets get really gross. So I'm just gonna show you making my bed, seeing as I've changed my sheets, let's go. If you start with your bed, then this gives you the space to put all of your junk, like in my last video, I like to use my bed method and I put all of my stuff in the middle of the bed. So the first thing I'm going to do after this is take all of my food and drink out of my room, anything I've been eating and wrappers because that's so gross. Then it's time to tackle the rest of the items on your surfaces and the big items I'm putting on my bed to sort through later towards the end and the small items I'm going to be putting in this little yellow box as you can see which is now my junk box for small items so they don't get lost. This is the current junk pile but don't worry it's going to get bigger and we have a lot more to tackle. Okay, see this desk here? I've cleaned off quite a lot of it but I've decided I'm going to move it to the other side of the room. Now is the time before you do any other cleaning. If you're going to move furniture, do it now. So once you've made your bed, clear off any furniture you're going to move and move it. Get that done first. So I'm going to start by getting rid of everything on this desk and putting it on the bed in my pile. That way the desk will be clear and I can completely move it and I can get to cleaning the floor. Once I have moved the furniture, I like to dust off the skirting boards dust off all the tables and things like that, get rid of all the crap under the furniture and then vacuum. This is so important when you're moving furniture around because a lot of stuff gets stuck behind furniture and desks and it gets really dusty so I want to deep clean this and I'm gonna vacuum the whole room anyway but this is the area I'm paying most attention to. Once I've done my whole room I'm bringing in my new furniture, this bedside cabinet which I found downstairs and a mirror and fitting it all into place. And then I am putting my old desk into its new home, which is over by the window. After this is done, I'm going to go ahead and clean all of the windows and mirrors because those are things that get overlooked and I often forget to do them. So I'm cleaning them with a glass cleaner so they don't get streaky. And then I'm going over them with a dry cloth after that. And I'm also remembering to do the window sills and all of the sides of the mirrors too. I then go ahead and wipe down all of the surfaces with a regular cleaning wipe, that way they are ready for once I've sorted out all the junk on my bed to put all the stuff back. And I will also go and do my shelves but I'm not ready to rearrange these yet so I'm just going to clean a small space and then put the stuff back as you can see here. 
Once everything is clean and there's nothing left to do, I'm going to attack the junk pile, which I like to sort into different piles and sections to arrange things. The main ones I normally have are things to go in other rooms, like the bathroom or the kitchen, beauty products, papers, and clothes. So as you can see here, my clothes pile is getting pretty big and I'm taking all of the stuff out that's meant to go in the bathroom and the kitchen and my paper pile and then I'm gonna sort through that little junk box as well. But for now, I'm going to do the clothes. I'm sorting all the dirty clothes and putting them in the laundry hamper and then with my clean clothes, I'm using this contraption which I got off Amazon for like three pounds and I know Sheldon from The Big Bang Theory has one, but it's actually a lifesaver, it's amazing. All you do is fold the three flaps over and then you have a perfect fold. I like to fold it then again and then slot it in my drawer like that because it fits perfectly in my Ikea mom dresser if you guys have the same one you will know <laughs> um, so yeah this is what they look like and they even work for small t-shirts and things like that so I then go ahead and put them back in my drawer and this isn't perfect right now but as you can see they're all kind of in that method once that's done, I then go and tackle my papers and I like to get rid of a lot of magazines when I do a deep clean because they kind of just collect in my bedroom. I don't know how I have so many and getting rid of papers actually gets rid of a lot of clutter. So here you can see I'm sorting my magazine pile, my planner and calendar pile. Why do I have so many? And then all of my actual paperwork, which I need to go through. So I recommend getting rid of as much as possible and old notebooks and stuff and you will have so much more space, I promise you. Anyway, once that's done, I'm going to start putting things back on the surfaces and it's starting to feel a little bit like home again. Then I'm putting all of my shoes in this laundry hamper that I have because it actually looks so much cleaner when they're all tucked away like that because I have nowhere to store them. Once I've done that, I'm going to empty the trash can and I'm saving some bits for recycling, but the rest is going straight into this bag and I'm going to take it downstairs and get rid of it. And once that is done and all of this trash is out, I'm going to spray my room with this nice smelling spray. And finally, I have all the little things in this junk pile and the same thing goes for this as my big junk pile. I separate it into categories like necklaces, things for the bathroom, craft items, nail polish, pictures, things like that and then I put them in their rightful place. And this is the final result. I'm really happy with the outcome and it definitely feels a lot cleaner in here. It's just a shame I have to do this every single time I film a video. I hope this was helpful for you guys and you enjoyed this. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you did like it. It lets me know that you like this kind of stuff and I will make more of it. I hope this was helpful and I do want to make some more organizing videos in the future. So if you like that idea, do let me know and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.